it was this image of four smiling black Catholic nuns that literally stopped me in my tracks uh, while I was sitting in the basement of Alexander Library at Rutgers. How did I not know that black nuns existed? At that point, you know, I just sort of went on this journey. I thought I would initially sort of write a, a dissertation and a book on Black nuns and Black power, specifically focusing on the work of the National Black Sisters Conference. However, when I began conducting interviews of the founding members of the National Black Sisters Conference, I began to realize that it had to be something different. used to be the pastor's residence, but now it's offices and then gathering spaces over between the school and the church. I ginned uh, up a letter um, asking to join the order and why. And I received a letter back basically saying that they don't um, ex accept black people. They said Negroes. I remember this pit, this, I felt this sinking. Like I was so hurt and disappointed. I mean, I just wanted to be a nun. It had nothing to do with race, but it became immediately an issue of race. She was very invested in me writing a book about Black sisters in the United States and specifically turning attention to uh, largely understudied and under-researched uh, history of the nation's Black sisterhoods. And she said something that, to me that just stands out. She said, we were not the first Black sisters <laughs> to revolt in the church. If you can, try to tell all of our stories. Let me get out 24 and 25. This is probably the earliest one that we have. One of the earliest ones. This is a tintype of Mother Mary Lang, Lang, and it's the only known picture that we have of her. Well, the fact that we were even established should raise questions in our minds about why the need for a predominantly African slash African-American community of religious Catholic women. You know, there were communities certainly in existence long before us. So why was that need there? But well, one of the reasons is or was because no religious community in existence at that time accepted women of color. I, I remain in awe of these women. I remain in awe of the faithfulness that unfortunately so many of us do not know exists within our church. What keeps me in the church is not only sort of knowing my history within the church, knowing that I am not some anomaly in the history of the US Catholic Church, in the history of the church at large, but also a commitment to these women who did not have to share their stories with me. It took a lot for them to get it out.